Hi, my name is Nola, and today I'm going to be reading How the Lie Boy, Not the Prince, Save Rapunzel by Wendy Maduro and Rebecca Ashdown. On the 16th floor of a tall tower block, sat Rapunzel, quiet idle, while growing her lock. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, please let down your hair, called a milkman from down the bottom of the stair. The lift is not working, the stairs are too weak, my asthma is too bad and my heart is too weak. But Rapunzel just sat, she didn't move, she had nowhere to go, she had nothing to prove. She just looked at the sky and she dreamed up a dream while the milkman went off and in his float to sell cream. It was later that day, much warmer than most, when the postman came around to deliver the post. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, please let down your hair, called the postman from down at, on the bottom stair. I've got a brown letter, it looks like a bell. Shall I leave it down here on the window sill? Rapunzel just sat, she didn't blink. She had nothing to say, she had nothing to think. She looked at the birds and started to frown. So the postman just left and went into town. When the sun was full blaze, just after lunch, the baker came round, selling warm things to munch. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, please let down your hair, called the baker from down on the bottom stair. I've got a bad knee, but I'm not one to moan. Just let me send up bread and a hot buttered scone. But Rapunzel just sat. She didn't flinch. She wouldn't move, not even an inch. Not a sound was uttered. Not a word was said, so the baker went back to shop to her shop to sell bread. Now Rapunzel's aunt was carrying was carrying soy, and around about four some dinner was brought. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, please let down your hair called her aunt from the bottom stair. I've made a fish pie for you to eat. I wrapped it in tin foil to keep it heat, to keep in the heat. But Rapunzel just sat, she didn't stir. A statue wasn't as still as her. As she watched the rain begin to fall while her aunt stashed off to the bingo hall. Now this story may have a prince, of course. He showed up late, but not on a horse. The wind in his hair, blowing his hooter, came along the prince on the back of a scooter. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, please let down your hair, called the prince from down on the bottom stair. He brought with him chocolate and red rose, and roses red. He wore leather trousers the sh on, and shades on his head. Rapunzel just sat as still as a wall. She didn't think much of a prince at all. She just sat and stared and stared at the rain, and the prince was never to be seen again. It had to be said without lunch or dinner, Rapunzel was starting to get a bit thinner. To leave her without any milk was mean, so the milkman, on hearing Rapunzel was lean. And I should have really delivered that letter. The postman felt guilty and wished she would, were better. To think, she's all alone on the 16th floor, said her aunt. As thin as a bone, as thin as a, 
Rapunzel has patience. She doesn't move. She has nowhere to go. She has nothing to prove. But to sit on your own all day and dream. Well, that's not good for one's self-esteem. The milkman and... The milkman, the aunt, and all of her friends decided to gather and make their amends. They climbed up the stairs, steady but sure, all the way up to the 16th floor. They boasted to the door of Rapunzel's flat, where she sat alone, only with her cats. They cooked her some supper, the first in weeks. It brought the roses back to her cheeks. Postman gave her a letter to read. And what happened next, you'd hardly believe. Rapunzel leapt up and shouted with glee, I've got a new job at the library. She skipped around the room and started to glue. She had somewhere to go. She had something to prove. She went to the cupboard and brought out a spanner. She lifted it like the li in a like lady manner. Thank you, dear friend, she said. I'm all right. So they took the lift, and she turned out the light. The following morning at 6 o'clock sharp, she jumped out of bed and whistled it. And wi while it's still dark, she tied up her hair in a very long plait. She pinned it all under a bright purple hat. She put it on a suit and a pair of smart shoes. She ate a big breakfast while reading the news. Then she got in the lift. She went down, 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 down. She started to start her job at the at the library in town. Everyone loved her. She sparkled all day. And life at the library continued this way. For along with her hair and her ravishing books, she loved nothing better than reading good books. Now Rapunzel has changed and it makes her wince to think she used to just wait for a prince, that she used to just sit, that she didn't move, wouldn't know where to go, and nothing to prove. For now she reads three books every night under the beam of her bedside light. She can tell you the distance of the moon. She can tell you, she can do the skies dance while playing the bassoon. She can speak four languages, skip and play chess, she can knit tiny egg cups and cross to a dress. She knows the difference between crows and rooks, all because of... Library books. So don't just wait around for your prince to show. He might turn up, but you never know. Pop down to your library and borrow a book. There's so much to find if you only look. So don't just wait. Don't just sit and wait. It's there. There's more to your life than growing your hair. I hope you enjoyed this book. Stay happy, stay safe.